Hello, I am Physician Dr. Dish, Dick Hashner, and I will be talking to you about bacterial meningitis. Bacterial meningitis, before then, the 1990s, was caused by hemophilus influenza, and that was the lead cause. Now, the lead cause is Neoshiga men meningococcoa meningitis, or streptophilicocomen. Now, you may be wondering, how do you get meningitis? Barbara? Thank you, Barbara. Meningitis is the infection of spinal, of fluid in the spinal, in the spinal cord. And the fluid that surrounds the brain. Here you go, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. Now, the signs of bacterial meningitis is high fever, headache, stiff neck, nausea and vomiting, sensitivity to light. Confusion, sleepiness, and seizures. Now, simple prevention can be taken to prevent bacterial meningitis, and that is hand washing. And if you come in contact with anybody who is diagnosed with bacterial meningitis, you must immediately seek antibiotics or you will get it and die. Prevention is simple. You take the HIV vaccine, also known as HIV, and that is the best pre prevention. But, or you can take antibiotics, if you're that kind of person. Now, the most common people that get bacterial meningitis is infants, babies, and children. Anybody, regardless of age, can get it if the proper precautions are not taken. Bacterial meningitis is found worldwide and can be treated with the most simple and any type of antibiotics. Bacterial meningitis is more serious when it is viral. When it is viral. And the common causes are three types of bacteria, hemophilus influenza, type B, nausea, men, meningitis, and streptococcus phenomenon. I am physician Dr. Dish, the cashier, and thank you for watching.